My name, if you don't know me already, is Taylor Jardine, and I'm a small business owner. The business that I own is called Badger Screen Printing, and my wife and I recently purchased this in 2021, and 2023 is gonna be the year of marketing. We are going to try to grow this thing and increase our revenue. And I've asked myself a few times, why do I even wanna grow it? I mean, money's cool, but there's something in me that I just, I wanna see if I can do it. I wanna see what I'm made of. So in this video, I'm gonna give you seven steps on how to set a really good goal and what you need to do in order to accomplish that goal. And as an example, I'm using my own goal. I wanna grow the revenue of this business by 10%. Historically, we've done about five to 8% with no marketing, but we're going for it. Before step one, there's a pre-step to step one. I'll get some energy or something like that. I like to drink Red Bull. It's not probably the best for you, but I love it. And maybe it is the best for you, I don't know. I like to get some caffeine, but do whatever you gotta do. Do some jumping jacks. I don't wanna do any, hence my weight. Anyway, step one, you gotta dream big and dream about what you actually want. So setting goals is all about knowing what you wanna get. And then obviously the next few steps, how to get it. What are you gonna do? When is it gonna happen? Step two, or step two, depends on the volume. Defining your timeline. You need to define when you're gonna begin working on your goal and when your goal should be accomplished. What day is it, end of year? Is it, you know, I don't know, end of today? You have to write that down and say, I'm gonna start on it tomorrow at 8 a.m. and I'm gonna end on December 14th at 2.36 p.m. And if it's not done by then, I never reached my goal. Anyway, define your timeline. D Y T. Yeah. Okay, is it wiggling? That's what she said. <laughs> Step a three. That's how I do my threes. Some people do them like this. I've seen people do that, but it's like really uncomfortable. Look at all those pen marks. <laughs> you gotta define when you've reached your goal. So if your goal is, I wanna get more fit, what does that mean? Like not eat a milkshake one time? or work out every day for a month and I wanna lose 60 pounds. So defining, I wanna have 60 pounds off of my 250 pound body by this day. You gotta really say like, this is what it means. This is the goal. Like for me personally, I wanna market. I wanna get more orders. What does that mean? How many orders? One order? Hell, I reached my goal today. No, I wanna grow my revenue by 10% and then look at my numbers from last year and say, what's 10% of my gross revenue and say, that's what the number I need to hit in order to have reached my goal. So yeah, define what your goal actually means and what it means when you have succeeded at it. Number four, making your goal into bite-sized pieces. Like you gotta make it so you can actually do stuff. Whether it's gonna be stuff you're gonna get it done today, next week, next month, for the year, like what's it gonna be? You need to break that down so that you can start achieving parts of the goal so you can get the whole pie. I think that's an analogy, you know, like a uh, slice of pie, slice of pizza. Eat those eight pieces and you got yourself a goal. Bad analogy, but whatever, you get the point. Break it down so you can accomplish the overall goal, the overarching goal, overarching goal. Reach the goal, reach it. Step five, you gotta reward yourself. So try to make something to look forward to during this, if, especially if it's a huge, BHAGs, big, hairy, audacious goal. If you ever heard of that, it's what it is. If you're doing a really big one, I would try to set some rewards on your timeline of when you can reward yourself for what you're doing. I want to grow my revenue by 10% and I got to give myself some rewards along the way. Maybe a vacation, even if it's something simple. Go home for a day, take off a Friday, sit down, breathe, play some League of Legends. Just kidding. <laughs> Hang out with my family, you know, do whatever. Go dirt biking, go to the dunes. Just something that is relaxing. Like take a break so you can come back and hit it hard and keep going and then go to your next reward. So like today, for example, crumble. I don't know, example of a reward. Reward? So get yourself a reward. Maybe you need to have a crumble cookie. I'm like still eating. You can get a crumble cookie for, I don't know, every month when you hit your subsidiary goals that all lead up to your big audacious goal. I don't know, reward yourself, make it worth it. And in the end, the goal that you reach is really what the reward is, so. Step 
Number six. In German, it's sex. Step number six. Um, you got to stay accountable. You got to figure out your accountability partner or your team or whatever it's going to be. So you can be checking in with them about your status of where you're at on reaching your goal. All these things tie together, you know, defining your timeline, making sure that you have rewards at certain steps and also checking in with your team or an individual. I would recommend with somebody else, not just yourself. For example, uh, for me with growing my revenue by 10%, I set up a meeting with my marketing team every Monday. They're going to let me know where they're at on their goals and their responsibilities. And honestly, we're just checking in. During those meetings, we get freaking inspired, dude. We get excited, we get stoked, like this is what we're gonna be doing for the next week, and this is what we need to, you know, have happen. And it kind of just, yeah, it's just all intertwined for these goal setting. Like it's so important for these goals to have somebody or a team, like I said, make an accountability system. Step number seven, you made it. You reached your goal. Celebrate, like you hit your goal, you made it. And it's important to celebrate so you can really, you know, that will make you make harder goals in the future. I reached this goal, this huge BHAG, this big hairy audacious goal. I'm going to be able to celebrate, have a good time, do whatever make you happy. You know, if you increased, you know, a $10 million business by 10%, that's a pretty big bonus check. Go buy your car, whatever you got to do to make yourself feel like it's worth it or reinvest in yourself or whatever you got to do. So celebrate, party. Just a reminder, Free template in the description if you want it. Reach your goals, you know. The intent of all these videos is to be able to connect with more people and to keep our business present. So yeah, if you want to connect, jump on our website, check us out, and I'm sure we can help you grow your business too. I have a full team ready to help you. Full-time graphic designers that will do all the art for you if you'd like. So yeah, we offer a lot of stuff. So check us out, and uh, yeah, let's reach some goals this year. It's 2023, so. Glad to do it.